Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Road to Rank Roulette series. I hope you're all doing well, had a fantastic weekend and are ready to get into some more roulette action. In today's episode, I cannot wait. We had a great week last week. It was, the result wise, it wasn't the best, but it was just a great bunch of Pokemon. We had some really nice picks in there and it was just a lot of fun all around. So I'm really hoping we can replicate it this week and maybe get a few better results along the way. We're getting very close now to the new rule set being announced for the 2020 season. You've got to assume that it is going to be announced at the World Championships like it was last year. And fingers crossed, we get something different to the Ultra Series. As much as I do love the Ultra Series, I'd love a little bit of a refresh going into maybe November time when a certain game is released and we'll probably get brand new rules then so i i don't know i don't know it could be ultra series it could be the could be a new rule set but whatever happens we'll we'll have that announcement very soon and that will mean that unfortunately we'll be coming to an end with this series but it has been a lot of fun we'll be returning to our daily battle series where we do more competitive and serious teams but we'll come back to this series every year like i've said it's just a bit of a downtime period series where we can have a lot of fun with it and i hope you guys have been enjoying it because i have i've had a great time with it <laughs> it's been really good it's been a learning curve and it's been really enjoyable doing it and interacting with you guys um through the nominations and then the the random wheel that gives us the gifted pokemon every single week anyway way mumbling on like usual so i'm just gonna say thank you so much for all the nominations this week we've had a bunch of amazing nominations so i'm really keeping my fingers crossed for a lot of you to have those come out this week and without further ado let's head over to the wheel and see what six pokemon we've got to kick us off in the series this week <laughs> I can get behind this. I like the selection. We've got the Wigglytuff there. We've got Lugia, which is a really cool Pokemon. Dawnwings, Necrozma. We've got Hitmontop, Volcarona. So we've got that old Hitmontop, Volcarona combination. The Top Moth Core from, oh, is it like 2013 season? I don't know, before then. Sometime, it was a long time ago. Regardless, it's a really good combination. And then Lorantis as well, stuck on the end there. So thank you so much to each and every one of you that nominated those Pokemon. They'll be up on the screen now so you guys can see. But remember, for those of you that haven't had their nominations come out yet, we've got four bonus buttons we can activate come Wednesday. We've got our randomizer, our switch up, our legend maker, and our Patreon button. So we will activate those later in the week, obviously, when we can, and we'll mix the team up. And hopefully some of your nominations come out when we do that. So, without further ado... I guess it's time to have a look at the team. It's pretty interesting. We've went for a few picks that you guys have suggested, like the the Z the Z move Lugia is one. The Assault Vest Wigglytuff is the other. The rest of them I've kind of just put together. I've went for a Quiver Dance set on the Volcarona because I just think it's a fun set and it can work, especially with the the hit on top there with the support, the Y Guard Fake Out support. It works really nicely there. The only thing that was a bit of a tear there was. Do I give a Giga Drain or do I give a Bug Buzz? Mm, there's arguments for both sides. Giga Drain obviously helps a lot against Primal Kyogre, whereas Bug Buzz helps a lot more against Ultra Necrozma, uh, Mewtwo, and some of the other Bug Week Pokemon. The, the few that there are in the format. Anyway, the team is always is down in the description below. There is a roll pace and a poker pace for you to check out in your own time and try out if you'd like to. Um, but without further ado, again, we'll jump straight onto the battle spot. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to find our first opponent today. But regardless of anything, I, <laughs> I really like this team. I really do. And you know what? We've probably got two weeks left of this series. Like, realistically speaking, two weeks left. So... If we can finish above 1500, that is going to be amazing. And uh, I'm just going to call it a day there. But we'll see. We'll see. Maybe we get that one hit KO team coming on. But we've got our first opponent of the episode, AJ. So we'll hop straight over into team preview. 
So AJ running a team of Rayquaza, Lunala, Tapacoco, Alolan Raichu, Nihiligo, and Incineroar. A lovely mix of Pokemon. All the Pokemon that I want to be seeing right now. I don't. <laughs> I don't feel like we've got the best of matchups here, but it's. It's going to be fine, isn't it? It is going to be fine. Um, right, what do we do here against this build? I think, is Trick Room a good route to go down? Potentially, yes, because my opponent looks like they're probably more based around Tailwind with the Lunala there. I mean, there could be Trick Room, both Lunala and Nihiligo get it, but the rest of the team don't really benefit from it too much. So you would think Tailwind, if any speed control at all, is probably going to be the, the thing that they go for. Now, can we... Can we get a Trick Room off? I don't know if we can. That's the big question. Or do we go down a, a, Z, a Z Tailwind route? I don't know. Uh, Lugia. Uh, no, no, like Top Moth could potentially work here. Um, but again, it's not it's not ideal. I'll go him on top. I'll go Necrozma. I will go with ooh, Lurantis. And um, do I bring Lugia to this match? It feels really difficult for Lugia. Whereas maybe the Wigglytuff could potentially do some stuff and we haven't face cam there we go popping in popping in just like that yes um yeah so that's from me recording the flinch squad circuit series uh, recently recording all the matches that the guys have been putting up so if you haven't missed if you haven't checked those out and you've missed those matches they're up on the channel at the minute there'll be more this week um, in the final probably next week so a very exciting time and then we've got the Invitational coming up soon which will be a live streamed event um, yes so Raichu and Lunala coming out for my opponent mm. Mm. Ah, it's, it's, it's tricky isn't it <laughs> because we'll take a move guys the Z move uh, for sure uh, oh, we've got to try and get the trick room up I mean we, we have to kind of try I wish I had like Ally switch here. Um, I just feel like Anacrosma is going to get dropped hard. Do I go for it or do I go for the protect? Like, what's my opponent going to go for? They might think it's Ultra Necrozma and might just drop the, the bomb on us. Um, but the longer I take to get the Trick Room up, the harder this is going to be. I'm, I'm just going to go for the Trick Room. I'm going to go for it. If we get dropped, we get dropped. Lunala protects! <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. We get the fake out onto the Raichu. I don't believe this has just happened. This is why over predicting is never a good thing. <laughs> we do, okay. I mean, <laughs> I can't believe we've actually been able to pull this off. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna pull in Lorantis right now uh, for him on top, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the nuke. I'm gonna go to the menacing Moonrise Maelstrom into Lunala to get rid of the the thing because uh, that that. That's still a threat. It could switch out into uh, Incineroar for sure. Um, but I can't believe we got that that playoff. That's one of those turns where we don't make the play we made. And we were like, yeah, we, we could have just done this. We could have just done this. And we, we actually just did it for a change. So it worked out. Um, here we go. Him on top, going to retreat. I'd love to see Incineroar come in. Give us the, the contra boost, but we're not even going to see that. We're just not even going to see a switch or anything. Um, we're getting the Z move off. Obviously, it's the Lunala Z move, but we can use this as Dusk Main because it's kind of half and half, isn't it? So we'll have to cut this. We'll be right back. And into the Lunala it goes. Is it going to be enough to pick up the Nalpha? It should be, right? Yeah, easy. Easy. It's not surviving. Not surviving that. I love how <laughs> as soon as it gets knocked out, I'm the most convinced person in the world. Uh, yeah, of course, it's never surviving. Uh, well, well, anyway, we get rid of that. We get paralyzed. Kind of helps us out a little bit more uh, in the trick room for sure. The Raichu doing the nuzzle. Um, now what comes in? I've got a horrible feeling like the time it's taken my opponent to select moves, they might just be timing out every time. They might have just left their, their DS. Just felt sorry for us. But I don't know. Who knows, eh? Nihiligo gonna come in. I guess we probably have to double down on the Nihiligo. Let's uh, let's superpower and uh, photon geyser it just to make sure that we can we can get rid of it because if that thing gets a sludge bomb onto Lorantis. There's a chance it could pick up the knockout. There's a good chance it could. Um, it might not, but there's a good chance it will, and we don't want to risk that. We know we're, we're slower than it, so 
probably the Rayquaza lurking in the back. I don't know. Let's count the next turn. Like to see if my opponent is like taking it. It feels like they're maybe a little bit quicker than than what I'm imagining the timeout would be. I'm gonna see Raichu switch out and uh, requires to come in. They're definitely not timing out now because you, you can't. No, this is the, like the this is not what we want. Not paralyzed right now. Superpower coming out. It's not gonna be enough. We do get the boost, boost, boost. But <sighs> sludge bomb. Lorantis takes it. And Prox, the Aguav Berry, because it's just a beast. Um, okay, so we are avoiding. Uh, oh, this is tricky. This is trick, tricky, tricky. Um, do we just go for the Rayquaza, uh, like a double into Ray, to Ray with? Um, hmm. Like a, no a knockoff's not going to do very much, but then it's probably going to do more than a superpower and a Leaf Blade. But then we do get the defensive boost again. Or do we just get rid of? the Nihiligo while we can prevent a beast boost. I'd probably prefer that, uh, seeing as we've got Wigglytuff in the back that could potentially do some do some work. We'll go for the, the, the Moongeist Beam into the Rayquaza. And there it is, Ultra. Ultra! Ultra Ray, Mega Rayquaza. Ultra Mega Rayquaza, yeah. I just, I'm just so confused in this format now. It's time to move on. I tell you what, I've got some great I'd cracking ideas for what we could have. Yeah, it does protect, so we could have went for that double up into the Rayquaza, but, you know, we're playing the non-predicting the non -predicting game. Um, we still got to turn a Trick Room after this, so, I mean, at the very bare minimum, we'll be able to get rid of the Nihiligo. Uh, we do some nice damage to the Ray with a Moongeist Beam, and a Dragon Ascent will come out. It'll be into Alarantis. Oh! Huh. Didn't expect it to be into um, a Cosma. Okay. Uh, now we can just pick up the knockout on both. Yeah, because the Trick Room's... Yeah. I mean, Rayquaza probably protects here, right? Uh, Superpower will go into the Nihiligo, and we'll go for another Moongas Beam into Ray. Ooh, Ni Nihiligo. I'm going to switch out. Uh, Raichu going to hit the field. Okay. Keeping it around for later. Rayquaza going to protect. That makes a lot of sense. A hundred percent. Like, yeah. Super power. How much is this going to do? be nice if it picked up the knockout. It's not quite enough. If we'd only knocked off that slot, it would have been it would have been way better. Um, hmm. Can we get another Trick Room up? That's the thing. Because what we could potentially do is switch in Hitmontop here. Because um, I, I feel like you chase down the Necrozma. Um, and what we'll do, we'll try and protect, we'll get top in. And if we can get another Trick Room off, then I think we've, we've got this one against AJ. It's still going to be it's still gonna be a little bit tricky. I mean, we do have Wigglytuff in the back, so it's, it's going to be alright, isn't it? Wigglytuff. I'm hoping we can feature Wigglytuff in our next match. It's a cool Pokemon. Is it? There was, I think, Scott and Pinko were, were the guys that nominated this week, so... And Scott nominated last week, so he's been sticking with it. This is my thing, like, stick with these Pokemon that you're nominating. If you really want them to come out, they will definitely come out. That's not what we wanted to see. That is the worst. There's the fake out into our top. We'll get that eject button. Um, I mean, it means we can cycle Intimidate again, which is, which is nice. We'll get Wigglytuff onto the field. I'm thinking now, like, Ice Beam would have been better on Wigglytuff, just for the Ray. Uh, there's the Dragon Ascent, uh, the Paralysis, that Nuzzle coming in so handy for my opponent. Um, hmm. Ah, if we only had Faint on our... If we only had Faint on Hitmontop, that would be incredible. Because then we could potentially... Hmm. Faint the Rayquaza, because it's going to protect here, I think. Um, we'll, da we'll Dazzle and Gleam, and we'll Close Combat. I'll Dazzle and Gleam, and... Yeah, Close Combat the Raichu... Because I can imagine the Nihiligo coming in here. If we can keep him on top around for the Nihiligo, that would be ideal. <sighs> but, at the same time, I feel like the, the Ray is in a position now where it can just take it down if it wants to. With the Dragon Ascent, so it's not quite sealed up and now losing our one restricted that we've brought 
making it a little bit more difficult. But my opponent quite weak. Okay, the the ray going down. Huh. Uh, the Nile Eagle. Yeah, it's not going to go down to Dazzling Gleam. We got the close combat the wrong way around. Electro Web coming out. Okay. But we do get the competitive boost, which is, I guess, handy. Ah, if we'd only close combat it into that Lelugo slot. Mm. But maybe the maybe the ray comes in and it targets down the hit on top rather than because we'll take a sludge bomb with Wigglytuff. Wigg Wigglytuff. I don't know if we'll take a combination of attacks. That's the problem. Um, and I don't know if a close combat's enough to get the ray from this range with him on top. But we're better off going for the nine Liga. I would, I would, I would. That would be my my thing. But um, yeah, and we can't protect. I'll just go close combat into the nine Liga. It's going to be down to what my opponent like decides to do here. If they uh, the poison EMZ, can we take this? I don't know if we're going to be able to. Mm. Oh, it looked so good for a minute. And now it's all gone downhill. Come on, Wiggy, to prove, prove your worth in this team. Survive this attack. <laughs> oh, man. That's like the most... It's never going to happen, is it? There's a beast boost. Um, ah. All we needed... Oh, man. Okay, well, I mean, AJ's done well. He's played around it the best he can, uh, and it leaves us with um, good old, good old Lorantis. It's going to come in and just take a pounding. Ah, I'm really like we we was such momentum in this first game to kick us off today, and it's just turned out to be absolute crap. We, I mean, the fully when we're fully paralyzed, that was definitely a big, a big kind of draw against us to just get our top in and then get the trick room off you know that would have been that would have made so much difference if we kept dong wings around it does happen though you know that's the thing so uh we can't complain and there we go didn't have enough we said at the start it was a bad matchup but i feel we didn't do too bad we did ourselves proud i think in that matchup aj good game and um the the nuzzle came in bigger than what we expected it to that one turn, it's always the turn though, Nuzzle, isn't it? It's always that one turn where you think, I don't really want fully paralyzed here. I can I can deal with it if I'm trying attempting to set Trick Room up, but on, on a protect turn, that's why it really hurts. It really hurts. It hurts to the, the like the the, the, uh, the soul is stung. Um, okay, our rating. Our rating, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I am I'm too obsessed with our rating. <laughs> I really am. Uh, let's go and cross my vision too because I just like this track and um, I need some cheering up after that last match. I feel like hard done by, but I mean, we didn't do too bad. Uh, Wiggly Tough. Well, 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 Wiggly Tough. I think if we thought about it as well with the Rayquaza, like minus two after two Dragon Ascents, it was minus two after two Intimidates, you think. It's probably going to switch out at that point. We could have maybe thought about it a little bit more and targeted into that slot. Knowing that the Raichu would go down whatever. I just I wasn't really concerned about the Raichu at that point because it wasn't really putting on any offensive pressure at all. Um, but it's just one of those things. we got our next opponent anyway. 16-10 rated player from Japan. So let's hope we can do a little bit different here. Okay, so our next opponent is running a team of Tabu Fini, Rayquaza, Xerneas, Incineroar, Metagross, and Whimsicott. Hmm, okay. Uh, I think it's a Lugia. A Lugia one here. So we'll go Lugia. I'll go Hitmon top. We need something against the, um, the Xerneas, though. That's the problem. Um... Hmm. The Xerneas setup is a bit scary. Especially when we don't have like a, a red card Volcarona or a whirlwind Volcarona, which could potentially be quite decent. Um Trick Room could also be really quite powerful here, important. Um 
But again, I think we're quite weak to... Um, we'll bring Dawn Wings. We are quite weak to, uh, to Xerneas. And just generally Mars teams, I'm going to say. <laughs> but we'll see what we can do. Wigglytuff might have been a good call here. We did feature it in the last game, obviously. Um, but it's just... Uh, it's, just well, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard, isn't it? The one Pokemon that I do feel like I don't really want to be coming up against is 100% um, the uh, Evelto because I feel like I don't know what we do against that. Uh, there's the Intimidate from our top, so we will be able to fake out the Incineroar, and I think it's probably better to fake out the Incineroar to guarantee our Z Tailwind up. Um, yeah. So we'll detail and we'll get that crit rate boosting onto the field. We'll go for the fake out into the incineral and see if we can um, get around this. I think the Rayquaza probably does attack into to Lugia. That would be my best guess. The Intimidate definitely helps out though with our hit on top. Oh, Ray going to switch out. Okay, Whimsicott going to come in. That's ideal. I mean, the Whimsicott can encore uh, him on top. Ooh, double switch. Ha, huh, Xerneas coming out. Hmm. Okay. But what we can try and do is go... Uh, yeah, we'll get the Z-move off now. The Z-Tailwind. Um, then we can help in hand Aeroblast into the Xerneas. Because the, the Whimsicott can't encore as he move. Um, so we'll go for that. We'll go for a helping hand. And that should get round Wimmy trying to encore our top if he tries to go for that. It could potentially just go a Tailwind here um, and try and get that Xerneas sped up by protecting it. But I wonder what a helping hand crit Aeroblast will feel like on the Xerneas. If it does like 50%, then that's that's kind of nice. Um, it's just about keeping Lugia's multi-scale intact right now. So, no protects coming out. Um, oh, there's a protect. Of course, so Helvin Hand comes before the protect. Okay. Uh, there's a Tailwind to match. Alright. Now, they probably will be able to get... Um, depending on the speed of the... The Xerneas, because I don't think we're the like the we're not the fastest Lugia. Um but we'll go for it again. We'll go for it. Cause even if we get the Geomancy off, we we kind of bypass those boosts anyway with the crit, so it's fine. Let's see what my opponent does. I figured as well, if we're going down the crit crit route with our aeroblasts. Um, then it, it's it's going to just make a lot more sense to have the the help and hand support next to it. We're going to see Incineroar switch in. My opponent obviously feels a little bit pinned at the moment, um, which is fine. Uh, there's a help and hand. So it'll be interesting to see how much this does. Endeavor. Huh. Hopefully it puts it in. Wow. Okay, that's nice. I mean, that's definitely in close combat range. Um, I'm just going to recover now, and I'll go for a close combat into Incineroar. I can only fake one thing out, and I doubt it fake the him on top out. Oh, it does. Okay. Well, we get the eject button now. So, getting the heck out of here, and we'll be able to bring in... Um, let's bring in Volcarona, because we can start Quiver Dancing. Um, and we know with my opponent having no weather, it's not going to make too much difference. We're going to see a fake tears now come out into Lugia, which is fine. Uh, we'll get this recover off. And we know an Aeroblast should take this Incineroar down the next turn. Um, but a Tailwind does pitter out, so we, ha we have to be a little bit careful. Uh, my opponent still has their Tailwind in effect. Uh, do we go for Bug Buzz? Bug buzz. I mean, we could double the Whimsicott. That's the other option here. Um, 
getting, but oh, we could tailwind. We could tailwind. I think tailwinding and quiver dancing could be a nice, a nice option here. Oh, it's going for encore. No, it's locking us in. Dang. That's not good. I don't like that at all because now we have to switch out and we'll lose the boost. But I mean, we're going to... Yeah, okay. Kind of get around the the snarl. And now we're going to be on cord uh, definitely again in our, on our... Um, of all corona which is a little bit of a pain but at the same time we can get around that Luga is still in good shape so we'll keep it around for later we'll switch him on top in we will go for a protect with all corona so then at least the next turn when we get top onto the field we can fake out the whimsical and we can actually attack like bug buzz the, the incineral um And get around this on call once and for all. So it's gone for the on call. There we go. Uh, Incineral U turning. Hmm. I think my opponent's going to bring in. <sighs> makes sense to bring in the Xerneas here. Or maybe the Rayquaza. The Rayquaza probably makes a lot more sense at this point. That's going to be the Ray. Yeah. Okay. We're probably going to have to lose. Uh, Volcarona here, I think. Because um, I'm going to fake out Wimmy and I'm going to just get rid of it with an overheat. We'll add speed everything on the field uh, with with Volcarona. And we can deny my opponent getting another Tailwind off. So if we do lose Volcarona, I don't mind too much. It's not the end of the world. There's the Delta screen. So we fake out into the Wimmy. Yep. I think it definitely goes for the overheat there. To try, uh, the, the Tailwind there to definitely try. And there's the overheat. Overkill. Um, and where's the Ray going to target into? Dragon Ascent into... If it goes into the Volcarona, if we get the Flame Body here, I mean, that is that is huge for us. Come on, Volk. Get the uh, the flame body, please activate it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't think it's I don't think it's activated. It would have already done it by now. Dang. <laughs> uh, all right, what do we do now? Do we get in Necrozma or Lugia? Hmm. Let's go into Lugia, and it's. I think one of the things we could. Ah, yeah, it's Xerneas. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. This is going to be very, very difficult for us to 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 deal with now going forward. I feel like we don't really have too many options uh, left. Uh, we can get Dawn Wings in. Um. Hmm. We could go Tailwind. I don't know if it's really going to help us out too much, though. Because uh, the Geomancy comes out. <sighs> I think maybe an Aeroblast probably just better into Xerneas at this point. Yeah, the Incineroar are going to come in. But if we can try and maneuver... Him on top onto the field with Dawn Wings, we can maybe get a Trick Room up. It's not really going to help us too much against the Incineral, but. The, okay, just a Dazzling Gleam. That's that's not the worst. It's a pity we haven't got our Z move left um, with Dawn Wings. That doesn't do too bad damage, you know, actually. That's not too bad at all. Um, let's go Moon Guys Beam. And let's go for another another Aerobast. Lugia probably will get faked out here. Okay, we're not going to see it. We're just going to see... What we're going to see? Incineroar will go for a Snarl, I reckon. Okay. Yeah, there's a Snarl.
I still think an Aeroblast. Mm, probably not now. Unless we get a crit Aeroblast without the crit boost. Or do we go Trick Room? I don't think we got Trick Room here just yet. I'm going to try for the Aero Blast and the Moonglass Beam again. We can maybe get a crit and it would be enough. If we can crit Aero Blast here, that would be more than enough to get around this Geomancy. Um, and I think would put the, the Xerneas definitely in range for Moonglass Beam to pick up the knockout. And I would not feel bad about that at all. <laughs> I really wouldn't. I'm desperate for a win today. If we can get one. Come on. Oh, Lugia, what are you doing? You're like the worst. You're like the worst restricted Pokemon ever. Unless unless Dawnwings can crit you. Oh, man. Well, that's that's that game over. Like, completely. Uh, the Aeroblast, we needed to... Um, we needed to crit with it, 100%. Um, but it needed to hit to have any chance of that. Come on, Lugia. Let's try one more time. I'm hoping you can take a Dazzling Gleam. You should do from this range. Come on. Let's do this. We hit. We hit. Come on. Is it a crit? It's like the weakest of weak. Okay. Oh, Lugia. Come on. You could have went down for that. Give us a free switch into top. Ah, it's all but over now. It is all but over. And I'm just prolonging it. Which is a little bit sad. <laughs> I just feel... I don't know. I feel like we've had like a, a couple of pretty hard matchups today. And I don't know if we're going to have any good matchups in the format with this team. We've got to be positive about it though. Come on. We'll, we'll, we'll have definitely better matches. Um, uh, we'll go for the moon guys then we'll go for I mean we can switch in we can try and switch in hit on top right and go for a double protect but the thing is hit on top is gonna come in on a dazzling gleam and it's just gonna go down uh, we needed Lugia to go down there really um, like a snarl would have been better for us I think because it would have taken Lugia down and um, Would have given us the opportunity to get top in where the Incineroar was out on the field next to the Xerneas. And we could have went for the fake out trick room potentially. But we get the double, but uh, we're not taking this with, with him on top. We needed really to see Moonblast. But there's no need for my opponent at this point to Moonblast. They, they're quite happily just going to be able to go for the Dazzle um, and whatever other attack alongside it. So Lugia coming back in. And it's going to be the end of a not the best of result-wise day for us to kick off this week. But it just gives us more to work on going into the rest of the week. It really does. Uh, and one thing I would say, we've bulked out Lugia. And one thing that might be more useful about running Lugia is running a faster one. Uh, so that's something to, to consider for later in the week when we change things up. But... Good game to both my opponents today. I feel like there was definitely areas where we could have done a few things differently, maybe in, in the games. And um, definitely game one, there was a few areas where we could have clinched that one, I think. But second game maybe got a bit away from us. But regardless of that, had a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, if you do enjoy this content, drop a like on the video, guys. Remember to subscribe to the channel and uh, leave your comments down below. And I will, uh, I'll look forward to reading them about the team today and what your thoughts are on the matches as well. But we'll leave it there. We'll come back tomorrow. We'll readdress things. We'll reset. And we'll see if we can do a little bit better on our next one. So until then, take care of yourselves. Have a great day. And I'll see you for the next one. So until then, bye-bye.